I think it's really important that we teach our people how to be worldly Christians. I know that sounds heretical maybe, but the word world can be used negatively like sin. 1 John 2.15, don't love the world means don't love sin. But world can also be used in scripture as in a good way. God so loved the world. So we should be worldly in that sense, but just thrive in every aspect of our human life. So we, we feel a tension between earthly pleasure and heavenly purpose. And I don't want to be balanced between both. I want to grab both extremes with both hands. I think from scripture, we should have as much earthly pleasure as we possibly can and live for as much heavenly purpose as we possibly can. And as we thrive and flourish in our human earthly life, that makes the gospel more attractive. The more we have it together as humans, the more attractive Jesus becomes. I love the story in John 21 where the disciples are out on, on the Sea of Galilee waiting for Jesus to appear and they're fishing all night and they catch nothing. And then Jesus appears and says, try the other side. And they catch all these fish. And Peter says, oh, that's Jesus. So he splashes towards Christ. And Jesus says, go help them, bring in the fish. So redemption matters more than creation because Jesus matters more than fish. And yet redemption sends you back into the world. Peter, bring in the fish. And the best part is Jesus is there, the resurrected Christ. And John 21 says there was 153 fish. Someone counted the fish, right? Who does that? Jesus is there and you're counting fish? Well, if you're a fisherman, it matters to you. So redemption and Jesus matter far more than anything else, of course. But it's not a zero-sum game. It's not enjoyment or honor in creation is somehow stolen from God. It, redemption sends you back into creation. And Jesus said, give me some of those fish. And he made breakfast on the beach. And then used that to have that hard conversation with Peter and restore him. So as pastors, we have to start thinking in big, holistic sweeps that it's creation, fall, and redemption, and redemption restores humanity, uh, creation. Being a Christian, the whole point is to flourish as a human. We're fighting sin. Sin is our problem, not stuff. So our people need to know that it's okay to enjoy their lives. Not only is it okay, it's better than okay. God, they should feel God's pleasure as they take pleasure in this world. Know the enemy. The enemy is sin, not the good life God gave you and liberate people to be the people God made them to be but also raise the bar and say it's about lordship now it all counts there are no timeouts in the Christian life